everyone, it's Erin from WellPlated.com and today you are going to learn to make a recipe that will impress your guests and yourself every time. This is honey glazed salmon. Juicy, succulent salmon baked to perfection in a honey glaze. This easy baked salmon recipe is healthy and it tastes so good you'll think you're eating in a restaurant. Whether you are brand new to cooking salmon and looking for a recipe for a beginner or you are an accomplished home chef, this is one of those easy recipes that you are going to love having in your back pocket because it wows every time. And I'll be sharing my foolproof tip to know how salmon is perfectly cooked. Let's get started. Let's start with the star ingredient, honey. I'm using a quarter cup. If you'd like your baked salmon recipe sweeter, you can add some brown sugar for a mmm, honey brown sugar glazed salmon. Though personally, I think it's sweet just as it is. Speaking of sweet, now we need our salty soy sauce. It gives an umami that balances the sweetness of the honey. If you'd like to make a honey glazed salmon without soy sauce, you can swap in coconut aminos or tamarind sauce. This glaze is all about balance, and that is where the rice vinegar comes in. It is a touch of acid that makes the honey salmon come alive. It's so important to add these different elements. They work together in perfect harmony to give us the best ever glaze. Time for the heat! Breaded pepper flakes. Just a pinch if you want a little bit of a kick, or if you would prefer your honey glazed salmon spicy, you can certainly add a little more if you dare. Now we're going to add some minced garlic. Take your knife and wham. And once more with feeling, wham. Oh yeah, technical term, folks. That makes it really easy to peel. As you can see, the peel is slipping right off. A honey garlic salmon is hard to resist and this garlic is going to bake in the oven along with the salmon and give this healthy salmon recipe more complexity. I love how easy this baked salmon recipe is. The honey glaze takes moments to stir together and it's made with ingredients you already have on hand. Now we're ready to prep our salmon. Don't forget to pat it dry with paper towels. That will give it the best possible texture. You can cook salmon with the skin off or skin on. Personally, I prefer to leave the skin on because I find the salmon stays more moist. Drizzle on some olive oil and then sprinkle on some kosher salt. The best kind of salmon to buy is wild caught because it retains more of its nutritional value compared to farm raised salmon. Wash my hands right quick and then let's head on over to the stove to cook up our easy honey glaze. You're going to cook the glaze over medium heat. It takes just three minutes to whip up. I love the fact that I already have all of these ingredients. It will bubble up and then time to put it all together. Take a baking dish that is large enough to hold the salmon comfortably and line it with parchment paper. I love these pre-cut sheets. They are so convenient. I press the sheet right into the pan and I will link to this into the notes because trust me, you need some of your own. Arrange our salmon fillets right next to each other down the center of the dish. And now it is time for that scrumptious honey glaze. I can smell it already. Pour the good stuff all over the top of our salmon. This is so simple and the results are spectacular. Because this honey glaze is so tasty, I also like to baste it over the top before I transfer the salmon to the oven to bake. Here we go. Pop the salmon into the oven for six minutes. This healthy salmon recipe tastes absolutely incredible and most of the work is going to happen while I'm not even paying attention. To give it extra flavor, I like to baste the salmon halfway through cooking to make sure that the glaze works its way into every bite. While it finishes up, chop up some cilantro and get some fresh lime juice on hand. These are going to be the finishing touches on our delicious baked salmon recipe. The best, most foolproof way to tell when salmon is cooking is to use an instant read thermometer. When it hits 145 degrees, it is done. You'll have perfectly moist, flaky salmon every single time. Sprinkle on our cilantro and then get ready to squeeze on some lime. I wish you were here to smell this. I am getting the notes of the honey. It's really deeply caramelized now and that garlic is super roasted. And then I'm picking up a little bit of the freshness from the cilantro. I need to try this. Whenever you're serving fish, fish spatula is where it is at. And I actually use this for flipping pancakes, eggs, pans of roasted vegetables. It is the best. 
Um, in case you're wondering, I am picking out the piece right now that has the maximum amount of garlic on it because roasted garlic is so good, especially with that soy sauce and honey. All right, moment of truth. This is incredible. The glaze is sweet and salty because you have that honey and the soy sauce. The garlic is completely transformed in the oven. And this salmon is just so juicy. I can't believe that this is a healthy salmon recipe too. It tastes absolutely fantastic. Mm. I can't wait to make this for my friends. Mm. And I know that your family is going to love it too. Enjoy.